Bloody hell, look at the state of that. <laughs> it's my birthday. Happy birthday. What a birthday. Nee, 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 nee. Nee, 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 nee. <laughs> Finn's telling me off for going near this bag for like 24 hours now. There's so many things. <gasps> Popcorn. <laughs> for the movie night we didn't have last night. <laughs> yeah. Hey, she loves popcorn. <laughs> I had a movie day with Lucy the other day and I was just feeding Nala popcorn throughout the entire thing and it was her best day ever. Vegan Collins from Asda. We love Collins. Mm, it's like breakfast. Maybe. Mm, what is this? It, is. it looks like food. Pastries? Oh! <gasps> I was close. Yeah, technically it is a pastry. It's on the pastry. So cute. He's so small. Do you like this? This is not for you. She's gonna try and nick it. She wants all my presents. <laughs> oh my god, and there's a bunny. I thought because you got your big bunny, now you could have a little oh, one that you bunny. can take places. Oh my god, they're so cute. Imagine if I just attached them all together and then just had them <laughs> all in one bag. It wouldn't surprise me, the state of your phone. <laughs> Do you know what? That's what I haven't done yet. I haven't dangled one off of a phone. I thought they might have gone on the phone. That would be so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love it. It's so cute. Thank you. I was looking for them and I could only find like the the normal big ones. Yeah, like the big actual like squishy toy one. Then I got to the counter and I was paying for like a card and stuff and I saw them. I was like, oh, they're there. So cute. It was a lucky find. Thank you. What is this wrapping paper? <laughs> do you do you know Peter Rabbit? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I used to have a rabbit called Peter. Oh, that's very really cute. This is very good wrapping paper. Mm -hmm. What is everything? Are you going to try and play the guessing game? Yeah, I think this is a chocolate bar. No, I can't it's giving, confirm or it's deny. It's giving chocolate bar. Might be a little tour, like a travel guide book. Ooh. This is a tin of something. I want to say like chocolate powder. Like it reminds me of the hot chocolate. No idea what that is. <laughs> Why don't you open them as you go instead of right, like working like out what all of your presents are before you've opened any? So I like to give my, this is a jar. Yeah, give something. a prediction of each one as you open it instead of all of them at once and then you've got nothing to look forward to. I still have the opening to look forward to. What are you talking about? It's all still very fun. Mm, this is not for you. For me? Delicious. I'm really to this one. What do you think it is? Some something like hot chocolate powder. Yeah. Open the back the like the bigger one next. Oh, I thought you were saying open this. No oh no, sorry. <laughs> Why? What have you put in it? This one? Yeah. <gasps> Marshmallows! <laughs> Great movie night prep can you make for me. <laughs> so if it's a jar, is it in keeping with the hot chocolate pack? Maybe. What do you think, Winx? The wrapping paper is so cute. Where did you find this? Just the exclusive source. <gasps> is the chili oil? This does not go with hot chocolate. It could. No, I would argue after that time we bought the chili powder, the chili hot chocolate. Yeah. Those two things should not be mixed. I'm not a fan, but no. some people are. <gasps> this chilli oil is the best. It comes with all of this, like, stuff at the bottom. Chilies. <laughs> yeah, but it's like, it's different and it's it's almost like a bit meaty, which is kind of weird. It's kind of like a chilli crisp at the bottom mm. of the oil. It's so good. So good, thank you. Ooh. Should I open this in front of the people? Mm, that's totally up to you. <laughs> This is not from Victoria's Secret. Oh my god, it's so pretty. These bracelets are from Lisa Goslan. Alana has them. I think Amelia might also have them. This brand. And there's another one. Yay. I've always wanted some of these bracelets. This is so fun because this year I actually stopped buying myself like random impulse purchases that I wanted and I made a list of them. And then when it came to my birthday, 
I um I had loads of things to like give people when they said what's on your birthday list. I actually had a list. I never normally have a list. <laughs> They're so cute. I like that they do different wrist sizes as well. Yeah, it was good. So they're not huge. It made it easier to buy as well. Actually, one of them was one size fits all, I think. Oh, really? But then one of them was hmm. sized. That's so cute. Thank you. That's right. We're going to the spa. Spa here is so nice. I ruined my slippers this morning, so I'm braving the Uggs. No regrets on this, actually, because they're so snuggly. Nicest changing rooms I've ever seen. They're incredible. We've just done a little sauna, and apparently now we're about to cold plunge in a pond. I'm not sure I'm ready for this. It looks beautiful, though. Oh, my God. He's insane. Fully insane. Go, 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 oh, go. Oh, babe, it's so cold. you got to go, 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 go. The quicker you do it, the better. Yeah, shh. <laughs> uh, no. No. Let's just go in the normal pool. It's freezing. It's so much colder than the cold plunge at home. <laughs> it's cold. You're insane. When we do this at home, you go in a tub, so I can just hoist myself into the tub and just yeah, lower, like, I just fully go for it. Whereas when you have to lower yourself in on a yeah. ladder, no. I'll see you in the pool. See you in there. <laughs> Going for breakfast. Amazing, thank you. Out of everything, then, please. Uh... Home. It feels like I haven't been home in so long. In a vlog, anyway. But hi, we're back. We had a little spa hotel stay last night for my birthday which was so so nice feeling very spoiled by the way if i'm squinting at you i've just put contacts in and i'm not sure they're quite vibing with me today i feel like they haven't really like settled properly and i still feel like i'm squinting not ideal not ideal but i've just done my hair and makeup all fresh because i'm going for dinner with lauren tonight for a little birthday mexican feast which will be so nice there's this restaurant that i love that's local ish and it's just the yummiest yummiest food so really looking forward to that i feel like i haven't vlogged in so long that i have forgotten how to speak probably a mix of not vlogging but also my brain is just this weird blur between weddings like it is chaos at the moment like we're starting to kind of get to grips with the packing situation because it's a destination wedding there's so much to pack but in the meantime it's also been my birthday and there's been so much going on with that even though i tried to make it like the most minimal birthday on earth people did not get the memo so there's been so much going on birthday wise but in the meantime like the wedding doesn't stop so i woke up to like messages this morning being like this invoice that we sent you less than 24 hours ago must be paid today or we will cancel and i'm like you guys need to chill it was my birthday yesterday why what is what is happening here so it's one of those times where you just can't you can't take a day away from the emails and it all feels a bit chaotic right now yeah so if i can't talk properly it is actually i think because my brain has just fully mentally like checked out and is just very much struggling but anyway that's where that's where we're at i will show you some of the bits that i got for my birthday maybe before i leave maybe tomorrow not sure i need to get ready for dinner right now because i'm in my just my monday swim little knitted set which is cute but not fully dinner appropriate i want to wear just like something comfy but nice Maybe some knitwear, maybe some jeans, not sure. I also haven't had to dress properly for the longest time, like just for a normal, nice everyday scenario. It's either been in my gym stuff or in something very bridal. And I think that's been about it. <laughs> Honestly, that is that is where I've been at. So it's really hard taking my brain out of that world and into normal, like everyday autumn dressing. I don't, I, I've fully forgotten how to do that. So yeah, we'll see where we end up. I actually have a few new bits from Cos. Hello. Hi, do you want to say hi to everyone? Hello. Say hey. Mm -hmm. She's so cute. She was so good at the wedding. Honestly, it was the best, like, having a wedding where we could actually have her there. It was just honestly so cute. I didn't get to update you guys. <laughs> no, we didn't get to update them. I know. I know. On the venue situation, because obviously the day before the wedding, I was pulling my hair out. Everything was actually fine on the day there were still there was st still some menu changes going on that i was like i could hear in the background it kind of going on and the staff kind of like trying to sneak around and like ask people what they were eating and i was just like i'm just gonna ignore this i'm gonna ignore this because <laughs> i have sent that spreadsheet so many times and i'm now just like 
I'm just I'm just ignoring this. This is like a constitutional right for me, not that we have those here, but it is my right as a bride on the day to just ignore things when they're going wrong. That is one of the things that I have told my family is like, I don't wanna know for the next wedding if anything goes wrong. I don't care if someone spills something, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care, I don't want to know. Things that I actually am changing for the next wedding that I will not be doing because I did them for the last wedding. By the way, if you haven't caught up on the vlogs, I just have my UK civil ceremony, my UK wedding. I thought I'd said everything I had to say on that. I, I'm not done. I have some things that I would recommend if you are a bride that has your wedding coming up and you're similar to me because some people might really disagree with what I'm about to say and that's lovely because everyone is so so different so just my views are not wrong they're just my views but there were definitely some things that I was like oh I regret doing that and I will not be doing that for the next wedding and if that had been my one wedding I have to say like it was such a nice day but I would definitely have these as like regrets whereas I don't because I get a do-over love having a destination wedding for that love that we actually basically got to have two weddings and almost have like a practice run we're so much less nervous now which is so great like in terms of speeches ryan is a lot more comfortable and knows that it's gonna like be absolutely fine because he was super nervous in terms of like saying vows we were both very nervous like just speaking in front of everyone it's a very like daunting moment i am chill about that next time the things that i will be changing number one are my timings for the morning i was up at the ass crack of dawn but i didn't make everyone else get up at the ass crack of dawn with me and in hindsight i was a little we were a little bit tight for time by the time we left and i was very stressed i don't want to feel that way again so rest assured i have my sister-in-law staying with me for the next wedding and she has volunteered as tribute to get up with me at the ass crack of dawn so love her for that and everyone's starting earlier so videographers makeup artists everyone is coming in earlier than they normally would just to give me the most time controversial but like i know some people are like don't separate from your partner you lose them you don't see each other throughout the evening blah 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 that really didn't bother me so much because there are so many moments at a wedding that will like pull us back together that it it's kind of nice and it I do enjoy spending time with my friends. So that didn't, that wasn't one of the tips that I actually found was like an important takeaway for me because we did just naturally find each other and it was cool and it was, I really, li I liked that. Those moments where we got to like come back together because there was cake or there was first dance or there was buffet or whatever. So I wouldn't necessarily be hell bent on going with that rule again. But one rule that I do, I want to put in place is that all of my girls, I love that they get on so well and none of them wanted to, to disturb me whilst I was doing my like hosty thing of like saying hi and thank you to everyone. I'll get to that in a second also because I feel like I made a bit of a mistake there. All of my girls just didn't want to disturb me so they all just like banded off together but I had severe, severe FOMO that everyone was like hanging out without me. So I have actually asked them now that if I'm doing the like lovely hosty thing that they are also there with me. Like I wanna, they're my favorite people. I wanna spend time with them as well. And I was finding, I was just like getting taken away from them. I literally didn't see any of my friends. One of the girls who is a bridesmaid for me, Lauren, who I'm going for dinner with later, I have one like candid photo of me chatting to her when she came in to the wedding and then maybe later in between courses and I don't have any other photos with her. There are no photos of me and her. That's how little I saw her. So I definitely want all the girls to like stick with me if I am doing the hosty thing but I also am not going to do the hosty thing in the same way that I did for the last one where I went up to like everyone greeted me as they came in but then I made this point of like going back round to literally every single person and then having a more in-depth chat with them and I found I spent a lot of time with people that like I never see or like meeting new people's girlfriends and like which was nice but by the end of it, I was like, I didn't really get to speak to like my family or any of my friends. And it, I spent a lot more time with people that I didn't really know. And it was kind of, I, I'm not doing that again. So yeah, I definitely don't recommend doing that. I don't know why I did that at all. I think I was just being like overly polite, but I just didn't, it was nice to chat and meet new people but that's not really why you're there on your wedding day it's to like have a really nice time and like spend time with people that you love the most but honestly i don't think i need to do that in obitha anyway because it's so like everyone that's coming is like our front row people and there's not really anyone coming that i don't know or have never met before that everyone that's coming i know super well maybe that one's kind of void it was a bit of a it's a niche 
situation but i guess actually one that a lot of people have for their evening receptions to be fair because i know a lot of people do allow plus ones for their evening receptions but everyone that gets a plus one for our destination wedding like we all know the plus ones so well so it's not really the same but that was a learning for me was like spend time talking to like your favorite people <laughs> what else was there i feel like there were so many things that i i also realized that i suck at a first dance i'm actually really excited for the first dance in ibiza though because it is the dress is different the dress for my civil i really struggled to find the loop and i actually could just couldn't find it before our first dance and ended up having to do the first dance but with like my train it was just wrapping around it was so bad i'm bad enough as it is it just didn't go well but i'm excited to have a redo to maybe practice a little bit in the run-up it makes us want to die but i actually think we need to do that because we're not amazing i suppose i am so not amazing at dancing and we can't be having a repeat of the last one i think that's it for my learnings off the top of my head anyway that was very very big catch up my the point i was about to make before i got off on this tangent is that i actually have a cause order that i really want to dig into i'm hoping that there might be something cute to wear for dinner tonight in here i just love cos in the autumn it's it is the best last year it was my favorite and i still love everything i got from there quality is just so good and i know this is kind of random because this vlog literally just got started but i thought i would show you this stuff now number one because i'm going to dig into it anyway because i want to find something to wear but also if i forget to do this today which is highly likely my brain is like a sieve at the moment if i forget to do this you're not seeing this until i come back from ibiza and it's all going to be out of stock so it is now or never okay Firstly, I've picked up this belt because I have just felt like there's been a bit of a hole in my belt wardrobe in the accessories department in this wardrobe. I really wanted something that was like a dark brown and this is almost like a dark brown with a hint of burgundy in it, which is so nice. Gorgeous. I'm hoping, yeah, that would be a good, good size. I thought this would be really nice because I wear a lot of brown, but I also love a brown belt if I'm wearing like black jeans and a brown top like i think it's nice whether you're wearing a full brown outfit or even just partially i think it's really nice to have in your wardrobe so yeah we've got a simple gold buckle gorgeous almost like aubergine colored leather faux leather whatever it's so pretty love it and then i also have oh, this knit which is just softer than i even thought it was going to be what is this made out of this is stunning i think it might be cashmere yeah oh my god <gasps> I fear it may not be cold enough for this yet however the season is coming and this feels amazing it also isn't too chunky either cashmere knits are it for me do you know what i love the fact that they're not like a chunky knit which is just too much for me on the chest like it makes me look very chest heavy if i wear a really chunky knit but cashmere keeps me so warm and then it's also a lot thinner as well so it just falls really nicely so yeah oh my god i'm so excited for this the sizing looks really good as well i got this in a size Oh, I think it's a little bit oversized, which is gorgeous. And I also got one of these tops. I have so many of these types of top. The Cos ones are gorgeous. This is almost a little bit sheer. So I'll probably wear like a black triangle bra underneath. I think that would be quite cool. The roll neck rolls up quite high, but you can also, it's quite thin. So you can roll them down a decent amount as well. Cause I don't like my roll necks too high. And it's very like fitted, but just a lovely basic to have for autumn, winter. I might wear that tonight. Maybe I'll wear that. I'm not sure. I also have this again, another cashmere number, which is so cute. It's a sleeveless knit but it buttons all the way up. I thought this would be so cute with my Capri trousers. I think that'll be so nice. And then my Chanel flats. Yeah, love that. I might see if I, if the weather's good enough tomorrow, I'll wear that outfit. I basically, I love the fact that this is cashmere because obviously with the Capris, you've got a lot of leg out. So if it's chilly, they're not the most ideal item. However, cashmere keeps you really warm. So at least I'll be very, very warm on my top half to counteract for not being so warm on my ankles. And then I also got this, which might be a contender for dinner, potentially. I love the color of this. It's so good. Yes. This color, it's very nice on me. I'm gonna say this is a good medium contrast cardigan. I actually started watching loads of TikToks on whether you're like high contrast, low contrast, or medium contrast. And I'm definitely a medium contrast kind of girl to almost almost sometimes to a low contrast but i think a medium there's certain mid colors that just work really well on me and this is one of them it's amazing it looks a lot more brown on camera but irl it's got like a hint of green it's like a lovely 
olivey color i actually have some where is my jewelry box i have some new earrings that would look really good with this these earrings oh, tell me this would not work perfectly oh my god love 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 yeah i think i might have to wear this cardigan this evening it might be a bit warm but that's kind of nice i could maybe wear it with a skirt which is something i so very rarely get to do oh my god i'm obsessed with these earrings i have them in this gorgeous i think this is called lime cream but it almost to me looks a bit of a very pale mint color but yeah a really gorgeous little greeny tone but they're very summery so i'll probably wear them a lot in ibiza to be fair i'll probably wear these a lot as well but yeah these are perfect for autumn winter for me i love them they're great i actually need to put jewelry on because i'm literally missing everything right now yeah cute little gold chain i think i'm gonna wear this but i'll show you everything on now i think i have time yes we have time we have time so this is our olivey knit in full even with these cream trousers it still looks so cute i think i'm gonna get so much wear out of this it's such a good color not to toot my own horn but i really really like this color on me i also just love how it slouches i love the button up i love the high neckline i found that with a lot of my knitwear a lot of the button ups have more of a v-cut and i just really really love this style i didn't have anything like this especially not in this color this color is so special i actually have a really lovely pair of like ecru creamy colored trousers which i think would look amazing i wonder if these brown trousers could also work i'm gonna have a lot of fun playing around with this one i love this i decided to throw it on with jeans instead of the capris which i, I actually think i still will wear this maybe with the capris tomorrow i need to go to london and i think the weather's meant to be very nice so i think it will be a great outfit combo but i decided just to try it with jeans quickly and i actually think it's so nice it tucks really well the other cardigan the olivey green one that one i felt like i quickly put it on with these jeans and i loved it but i went to tuck it and i was like oh this is not a tuck in situ it just didn't it, it didn't look right it looked a bit dated but this i actually think it looks really nice tucked in i think it will look really nice with the capris untucked as well but yeah tucked in with the burgundy belt i am loving i love this neckline as well it's just so nice i think it's like a nice high neckline for me but without actually invading my neckline i don't really have a very long neck it's one of the weird things i've found to dislike about myself you know everyone just has some weird things that no one else would notice i don't have a long neck so when i'm dressing in the winter i like to not go too high on the neck so it, it makes it stand out but yeah i love this neckline i think it's nice and flattering and yeah i just love it it's so nice it's so this these cashmere pieces are next level soft i've never ever had anything that feels like this it's almost like it's quite fluffy and textured i really i think they're beautiful yeah love i'm tempted to wear this tonight this is a really nice comfy one and it's actually not too cold today it's like blue skies right now it's fairly mild was it like this on my birthday no no it was not it was absolutely baltic yesterday but i will take <laughs> any sunshine i can get at the moment yeah this could be a really nice option for this evening throw a little jacket over the top yeah it could be really cute yes it works really nicely with my fave jacket this belt and this jacket as well are going to be besties they're like basically the exact same tone it's so nice i love this neckline as well with these jackets because these jackets are a very like deep v and sometimes i just don't really know what to wear underneath them i tend to wear a lot of like vest tops in the autumn with them but then it gets to the point where i'm like oh that's a bit chilly for this so these are perfect yeah perfect 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 this is so nice i can't i can't even begin to tell you guys how cozy this is i've done something that i don't know how i feel about this 2016 called and they want their outfit back i've paired this outfit with some top shop joni jeans i think these are joni jeans i <laughs> my reason for this hear me out is because by the time we actually get to the point in autumn winter when i'm going to be wearing this i will be living and dying in my all saints chunky like chelsea boot things so i have to wear those with skinny jeans because nothing else works it's either those or my stuart wiseman boots if i want something a bit dressier both of them require a skinny jean yeah i i have paired this with some skinny jeans which i feel like is is kind of criminal no one wears them anymore except me in the winter i just i love them they're very practical they go with wellies they go with chelsea boots and they go with my stuart wiseman knee-high boots which are the staples those are my winter staples so just in case you were wondering no you're not imagining things i did swap the jeans out for something skinnier but i just felt like these tucked with a boyfriend jean felt 
I, I don't like to tuck. I'm not sure I'm I'm sold on a tuck anymore. Just want to let it hang loose and just wear it with some boots and be comfy and cozy. And then we have the long sleeve black top. I don't know if it will show on camera, but it is quite sheer. I got this in brown last year and I love it, especially with these trousers from Lily Silk. They're amazing. However, I am making a mental note that I need to get a triangle bra in black. I had to do this for the brown one last year and had to get a triangle bra in brown. So we're going to be doing a little skims order. So you do the best, best ones. This is, I'm wearing just like a regular t-shirt bra underneath it at the moment and it's not, it's not quite right. What I like about these is you can really roll the roll neck down, which like I said, little miss no neck here. I prefer that. I prefer it. But yeah, I love the fit of these they're like nice and snug but really breathable but weirdly keep you warm at the same time even though they're a fraction sheer i just i love them i think they're great so yeah just need to get a little basic t-shirt bra for underneath i'm at that time of the year where you suddenly realize you have a few wardrobe basics missing so i need to i'm making a mental list of like a few bits that i need but yeah love this so happy that i got this in the black as well as the brown i'm already quite warm in it so i don't think I'm going to be wearing this this evening. It also just is too sunny for all black. It's not, it's not the time yet, but by the time I get back from my wedding, it will be like fully time for all of these outfits to be fully in place. We are also going to have a big wardrobe cleanse and like archive all of my summer pieces because there's a lot of summery pieces. Looking at you, lime green top that need to go into storage for the winter. So we're going to be doing that when I get back from the wedding as well. Like there's a lot, a lot I need to do when we get back from the wedding. I have literally had to pause everything that is not wedding related. That's on the to-do list. Right, this is my outfit of the evening. If you catch any glimpses of the wardrobe room looking a state just know i'm gonna fix it all once i have packed but right now there's like piles of clothes everywhere for ibiza so just roll with me here but this is the outfit for dinner i was gonna wear these platform uggs but i decided to go for these new ones that i got i got these actually the day after our uk wedding if you watch that vlog i picked these up when ryan was buying his shoes because he forgot shoes if you don't know you should go and watch that vlog <laughs> But yes, he did walk around Brighton in his slippers. In the hotel slippers? Yeah. Anyway, we went shoe shopping and I got myself these and they, yeah, they're really cute, like Ugg Tamsins in like the regular chestnut colour. They've got a cute little pattern along the top of them. Like I said, I was going to go for the platform ones because I'm going for dinner with Lauren. She is so much taller than me and I often look like her child. So I was thinking the platforms would be a good idea. However, these just look a bit more, I don't know, I think they just look a bit cuter. I don't know if I actually mentioned earlier, but these baggier jeans that I have on, they're from Cos. I love these. The only thing I do need to do is alter them slightly. I think they just need a little bit off the length because they're a bit too baggy, but I also have done a I've done a thing. I did a tuck and now I'm questioning. I still, I'm still not sure I like it. But anyway, this is the cause cardigan. I've got the belt on underneath because these jeans actually are a little bit big on me and I need to wear a belt with them every time I wear them. I do think it's nice being able to see the belt. I just, like I said, not sure I'm not sure on the tuck. Let me know your thoughts on a tuck. Do we still like a tuck? I feel like that's the most millennial question I will ever ask on this channel. But yeah, sometimes I'm just not sure. But let me know your thoughts. So yeah, very, very cause on the body. My bag is from Anthropology. This is the new one. If you've been watching me for a while, you'll know that the green one that I have that's just there. I love, I love it so much and I love it so much that I bought it in this gorgeous burgundy colour, which is very fun for winter. These are the best Bottega dupes that you can find on the high street. They're adorable. They fit so much in. The quality is amazing and they do them in the funnest colors should i be sensible and buy this in black maybe but i've got so many black bags i think it's actually quite nice if you find a good high street bag to like buy it in the fun colors because they're just the ones that you don't you don't get to wear as much like yes we wear burgundy basically every autumn if you're an autumnal loving bitch like myself we wear this every single year however i do think some years we like it more than others so i didn't really want to buy a luxury bag in a burgundy this fit the bill perfectly and then i've got the olive toned earrings in from the i can't remember if i said that Obmuse muse heaven mayhem and i'm also wearing my aurelia necklace underneath but i actually think i like this outfit best like kept simple i don't know if the chunky necklace is a bit too much maybe not maybe it's okay it definitely feels dressier with the necklace i think this is nice because it looks a bit more simple but yeah that's my outfit of the evening. I'm fully ready for this Mexican feast we are about to have. I can't wait. I'm going all out for the birthday week. I have been eating such good food. Last night, I actually treated myself to, hear me out, because it's not gonna sound bougie at all at first, 
a hot chocolate with whipped cream. But hear me out, a mini vegan Colin the Caterpillar dunked in the top. It was so good, it was so good. I'm also wearing bracelets as well. These are the new ones that Ryan got me for my birthday. They're so cute. These are from Lisa Goslan. And then for fragrance, I'm gonna go for Jo Malone Scarlet Poppy. I loved wearing this. Around the start of September, this was my go-to. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Jo Malone Scarlet Poppy, stunning. Okay, we are ready to roll. Let's go vibes. <laughs> Which one do I open first? New, newlyweds. It's great, get wedding cards and birthday cards. Lauren does the best cards. Oh my god, it's, it's, it's a dissertation. Hang on. Love that, thank you. That would be so cool. This is so small. Oh, oh, yeah. The best. Do you know what? I really trusted you to get this for me. Yeah, I knew I was going to get one of these and I knew Lauren would get it. I didn't even have this conversation with her, I just knew. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> oh my god, this is so much food. This table is too small. This is actually insane. This is far too much food. Good morning, everybody. We are picking up my wedding dress, the wedding dress, the big one. I'm about to get run over. Sorry. I am so late. My brain has left the building. I'm so sorry to the entire team at my lateness today. I completely ballsed up this appointment time. My bad, we are not getting off to the best start today, but I'm nearly there. We are picking up the wedding dress. <laughs> the pre-wedding bridal stress is real. Like I have to say to anyone that thinks, thank you, to anyone that thinks that having a wedding, then your birthday, then a wedding is a good idea. It's not, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Along with just because you can doesn't mean you should. Two of my biggest learnings. Don't do either of those things. Here for the final time. So ignore that bit. Can I get this and a hazelnut hot chocolate with soy milk, please? Do you like this? Uh, no, I'm all good, thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Cheers. Okay, we are all good. We're having a brief interval for a hot chocolate break whilst they pack up the dress, which could take anything from 15 to 20 minutes. So it's just me and my hot chocolate for a little while. And then I've got to get this dress home on my own. I have a feeling I may not have the arm strength for this, but no one was available. So it's just me, myself and I being an independent woman, trying to get this dress home. It's gonna be interesting. Also, I have a question for us all. I came on my period this morning. I feel like hell on earth. It's been a real treat of a morning, but why is it when you're due on, you look at yourself in the mirror and you're like, that's, that is, that's not me. I'm looking at this person. She is not me. I'm looking at a Madame Two Swords waxwork version of myself. Like why, what is that? Is that in my brain? Because I can't just religiously be like hallucinating the same week every month. But why does this happen? Why? So not me trying on my wedding dress for the final time, just honestly feeling like I look like an absolute toe. Like I know I don't look like a toe. I did my same glam this morning. I did everything the same. Even my outfit. I wear this outfit every, basically every week. Like I'm convinced that the Halfpenny team, they probably think I don't own other clothes. I always wear the same outfit. Why do I feel like I look completely different? I put on this dress and I was like, <laughs> I look horrendous. Like what, what is that? Side note, Pratt hazelnut hot chocolates with soy milk are honestly incredible. It is the season for hot chocolates, isn't it? Anyway, enough, enough from me. I'm sorry. I can't wait for this wedding to be over so that I can vlog with you normally and not be an emotional wreck. Like I honestly can't remember the last time I vlogged and felt like I had like actually been emotionally consistent or in any way consistent in the vlogs. I can't handle it. I actually can't handle it at the moment. I feel like I'm so all over the place. So if that is how this is coming across, I'm so sorry. Oh God, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Imagine a tiny bridesmaid dress like that. So cute. And we're back. So it's going to be 140 centimeters by 40, which isn't too much of a problem, by 40. 
Okay, so the is okay. Trying to get this on a plane. Yeah. <laughs> okay, chocolate. Try it now, measure it. Around about 31 now. Okay, great. The size is about 30. Perfect. So that's perfect now. Okay, this shouldn't actually be too hard to get home. I've got the train home before and they were, oh, okay. I just hang on the little hooks that are like next to you on the train and it was fairly easy. Here they go. What is so, this? Goodie bags oh my for God. you and your friends. That's so today. cute. I love clay de po. <gasps> so we're gonna, I'm going to pop this into the tote bag for you. Oh so my God, this is so cute. Thank you. I might have to steal these. <laughs> Stunning. Oh wait, this one for me. Yeah, Great. Don't need to steal anyone from else's. You and your <laughs> of course. Perfect. Of course for oh my you. god, that's so exciting. Thank you. I have to peek. I have to peek. Oh my god, that looks so cute. <gasps> it's a little bag. So cute. This is basically a game of buckaroo at this point, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. One on the shoulder. Yeah. Okay, great. And then mm. I'll do tote bag. Oh, I've got two tote bags. Okay. Uh, so big tote bag. Big, bag. Then big tote bag. Half penny one. tote bag. No. I'll take it like this from the top. It's quite heavy. Oh my god. <laughs> I am such a bag lady. Wow. I would not have gone out of the door. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. No worries. See you later. Have a nice weekend. Congrats. Thank you. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Pray for me. Me up. Thank you. Is that okay like yeah, that? this one goes over my shoulder. Thank you. And then the body bag. The body bag. <laughs> I did not see anything. <laughs> Thank you so much. Welcome, Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you. My Uber driver said it looked like I was carrying a dead body. <laughs> She could fit in one of your dress bags. Oh. <laughs> I wonder if anyone's ever tried to smuggle their dog onto a flight. Sure. I'm home. I am so excited to dig into this bag. They gave me a bag of Play the Post stuff, Brian. That's what the extra tote bag was that I was carrying. I have one for all of the girls. Oh, yeah. Like little goodie bags, makeup. I was like, okay, uh, I'm not sure how I'm gonna get all of this into my, my suitcases, but I love it. <laughs> I can't complain. Oh my God, what is this? <gasps> all the cleansing foam. I look so disheveled. This is just, I am that meme in the run up to this wedding. You know the one where Corella Deville is driving and she looks like insane. That is uh, how I feel like I look. That's how I definitely how I feel on the inside in the run-up to this wedding. Oh my god, so many things. We've got mini softening lotion, intensive fortifying emulsion. This is a really nice little moisturizer. I use this literally every night. I sandwich my skin and me in between this. So that's gonna be amazing to take with me. Mini serum, great. Mini the serum, these are so good. So, so good for traveling. Will this last me a week, do we think? I actually think I have another mini, so I might just take the two minis. Oh, the lip balm. Yes, lip balm's so good. Oh wow, this is so pretty. Wow, oh my God, that is beautiful. Gorgeous. Thank you to the half penny team. That was very nice of them. I also just love this pouch. It's very bridal. We also have the birthday table behind me. I actually didn't get to show you what I got for my birthday. So I got some pink lilies from Brian's mum. These are really cute. Apparently I can plant them outside as well as have them inside, which I'm very excited about. I also have these roses. So the Killian team sent me these creamy colored roses and then Amelia sent me the pink ones. The pink ones are my favorites. So I'm so happy about this, but because they sent me roses from the same, they're, all of these roses are flower box roses and they're the best roses. They're like so big. I put both of them together. And now I have this little like strawberries and cream bouquet going on, which is very nice. Also got some rose. What rose is this? Never had this one before, but it, the bottle is so pretty. And then my mum <laughs> bought me every book on my reading list, basically. So we have the entire Throne of Glass series in here so that's pretty much my 2025 reading completely covered she also got me fourth wing which i've heard really good things about and then i also just got the collector's cover of a court thorns and roses 
which I just think is so, it's so pretty. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. I think you saw all of my things from Ryan at the start, but yeah, love all of these things. We, we are gonna be making a little hot chocolate tonight. Can't wait. Do we still have Collins for the hot chocolate? Yeah. <gasps> I'm, so, I'm so proud of you. They nearly disappeared a few times. Yeah, Ryan um, sometimes just can't help himself. And the treats just seem to disappear if I'm out for a few hours. Proud of you. Thanks. Oh, can't wait to watch that like monsters on Netflix tonight and have a hot chocolate. My second hot chocolate of the day. Yeah. Oh, that, I didn't know what to do whilst they were packing up my dress and it took like 20 minutes. So I didn't want to get a coffee and I didn't want to get a matcha because I don't know, I just didn't want to get a matcha. So I just got a little hot chocolate from Fred. Nice.